Today, Precarious plays Torment, Tides of Numenera. I have figured out why this game is making me angry. It reminds me, this is the exact same kind of resentment I feel. Oh, this is a bad dungeon master. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, that seems a little unreasonable because it was done remotely. The dungeon master doesn't know anything about me or my interests, my preferences. But I still, I can't shake that feeling. I'm playing along with this and I'm just thinking like, I'm not going to play another session with this person. That's where I'm at. This were a dungeon master, I wouldn't come back to their their game, mm -hmm. you know? I'm just really interested in this creature. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. I Listen, I'm sorry for being such a downer, but I feel like me being honest about it is better than the alternative, which is just me going like, uh-huh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, you dig under the city, right? Can you take me someplace? Yeah, that sounds cool, sure. Over the scent of warm gravel. Oh, wait, you were reading a book. I right? was. Yeah. Over the scent of warm gravel, the stitches clicks and whistles. You understand the words yes and shins. Are shins our currency? Yes. Is this a shin? Yep. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Shut up with your sour mood. And Hold on. <laughs> I want to back up and I want to say that there have been parts of this that I like. There have been parts that I have found evocative and interesting. Uh-huh. But I would be lying if I said that if I... <sighs> At this point, I would already be like speed reading. If I were playing this on my own, uh -huh. I would be in like death march mode. I would be like, I already, I already paid for my ticket. Let's get, let's rush through the parts that are pissing me off, so I can just absorb, like, I can get to the parts that I enjoy. Okay, so you almost have the sense of the language, the structure, the feel, the sound, and scent. The itch in your mind intensifies. You can feel the memory of the stitches language waiting to reveal itself, and I want to do that immediately. Okay. 75%. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Oh, uh, we're gonna try. All right. Your mind blurs, a memory racing up from forgotten depths. You see yourself interacting with a stitches, the two of you patiently exchanging hand signals, a small box between the two of you translating your words and thoughts. Each time it conveys a thought or concept, the device sends a stimulus into the appropriate parts of your brain and electricity into your limbs, making you a marionette. Ooh. Ooh. Your muscles twitch in sympathy with these memories and you realize that the stitch's tongue is a jumble of scent, movement, and sounds. Well, that's not much of a realization. Uh, with the memory, information pours into your mind as if a plug had been removed, the smell of granite fills your nose. As you return to normal consciousness, Chiket... Chiket... Uh, Chiket leans forward. Chiket smell granite, knowledge. It rumbles. Its spiracles vent a minuscule trace of gas. The stitches looks at you and its body posture and slight movements indicate a question. Does human speak stitches? Your muscles remember and you twitch the proper response. Chiquette huffs the scent of lightning. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Yeah, sure. Do you want me to do yeah, the, this? Yeah, because you said you'd do it because there was another voice. Never speak Kachet to human so. Heard memory from Elder, not believe. Human almost sentient? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Grob think like stitches. It claps its hands together. Speak smart. Better now. Ah, uh, friend. Okay, uh... 
But now let's ask about. <laughs> yeah, can you tell me about this place again? Well, uh, I was gonna—I mean that—but I was thinking number four. Oh no! But the uh, the again might—it could be different. I, I think the again could be different. Yeah. Yes. Ah! <laughs> yes. Good tunnel rock. Many hidden paths. Place to store eggs. Strong electricity when we dig. Good for eating. Okay, so they're electric Pokemon. It's an electric rock type. Interesting. Neat. Or maybe an electric ground type. Can you tell me more about the Stitcher? It considers the question briefly and then emits a puff of pheromones that smells of soft rock crumbling under determined hands. It reminds you of resigned acceptance. Oh. Speak. Kachek will answer. Okay. Um. Why are you digging here? We already kind of know, yeah. but it, I don't know. I mean, we Why know. Why are you digging under populated areas? The assumption would be that there were less populated areas for them to dig. Yeah. So. The stitches stares blankly at you, its eyes shimmering. It seems to be trying to put its thoughts into a statement you can understand. Stitcher must survive. <clears throat> Must live where food is, yes? It doesn't wait for an affirmation. Human watch every step? Avoid stepping on insects? No impact on other life? Sacrifice of others is natural order. Yeah, I mean, I get it, dude. Like, that's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I mean, why here? It taps you in the chest. Smart for human. It points toward the rest of the underbelly. Not smart. Why concern? Not... It groups for the word. Not sentient. Yeah. So it's talking to me and I am a squirrel. Well, no, we've been elevated to talking dog. We are a talking dog. Yeah. Everybody else is. Just a dog or squirrel. A dog or squirrel. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't. You know. I mean, this person's a bigot. Yeah. Just because the it's a fantasy thing and the shoe is now on the other foot where it's not a human being speciesist, that, that doesn't That doesn't change make anything. it okay, yeah. but... Uh, I guess we just have to see how much respect this guy has for um, our intelligence. See if we can convince it. Like, no, no, it's it's just no, yeah. It's just because they don't, they they don't know the words. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I mean, we understand why they're digging here. I might like to ask other questions before firing off number three. Yeah, how did you come to be under Sega's cliffs? I mean, I think that that's not that important. Let me look at the other questions really quick. It's just back to the first menu. Okay. Number uh, five. Number five will, will should lead us back to where we just were. Okay, so I want to know how much it costs to take us someplace under the city. Ten shins? We got 35 shins. Yeah. Where oh. go? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, action. I would kind of like to know what the answer to number three is. I do, they, I do want to know that. Do they have some sort of inherent value? Do they have like a? Are they? Are, are they, they yummy? Are they super? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you, you what you were saying was not really very far from what I was saying. Uh, because they eat electricity and you were like, are they superconductors? Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, are they tasty? So I think we were on the same path. Um, okay, I, I do want to know number three. Okay. Human cell Numenera. Call self Makella. Mm, Trade shins and other Numenera to stitch us. Stitch you trade shins for Numenera. Good for dig. Melt into walls and tunnels. Make stronger. That why shins. Okay, so somewhere in in the middle. Um. 
Where did we... I do not care about this whatsoever. Yeah. <clears throat> Both of these. I'm not super into the idea of helping either of these figure their stuff out. Uh... Well, this is a tale as old as time where they both just think that because they, the other one doesn't know their language, they must be fucking idiots. Yeah. Which is just... That's, it's exhausting. Y- yeah. It's a, it's a, this, if I have a complaint about this game so far, that cheap shit is it, <laughs> you know? Oh, they just don't understand each other. And it's like, oh God. All right. Yes. As usual. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not knocking the writing so much in that because I think that the fact that one of the language is so peculiar does provide like an effective smoke screen for it. Yeah. Yeah. I just mean, like, it's just an exhausting topic, no matter how well done. Yeah. That's why diplomats have jobs. It is a (laughs) full-time job dealing with this, and I am not interested. I have a different full-time job. I am a self-appointed crash landerator mystery solvenator person. We are are self-appointed. I mean, we are... Are we self-described as the last... I think we're last... unemployed. Yeah, well, no, we're, we're gainfully employed <laughs> as the last cast-off. The thing that I think is curious, other than the fact that it doesn't have the same ring to it... Yeah. It is a little presumptuous, isn't it? Shouldn't we be the latest cast-off? It should be the, we are the latest cast-off. But... The fact that we are the last cast off, probably, it's probably, uh, what's the term? Uh, prescient? It's probably precognitive? Yeah. By the end of the game, I, we probably will be the last cast off? Yeah. Would be, would that be my guess? I mean, let's hope. Okay. After what I've heard about our changing god fam. I don't know how... Yeah, I hope we're the last. I have heard that the changing god had a sanctuary underneath the city. Can you take me there? Because the other ones I don't really care about. Right. Okay. The creature listens carefully to you and then slowly rotates its whole body, its hands in front of it. Chikek's odor is that of internal organs, slowly liquefied. A bright and pungent order. odor. No. It croaks. Not humans. Ah, we could argue about how human I am. It continues. Uh, oh. It is connected to egg tunnels. Humans not careful. Tread on eggs. Harm broodmates. I mean, I understand your concern, but if you tell me what an egg looks like, I won't step on it. I'll be a good guest. The stitches nods. Human no language is good. But fish had person wants eggs. Not take risk. Solve problem. Talk again. Let's ask some more questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think of while well, we're on the subject? Yeah. Hell, Hellie. Hellie. The stitch just seems discombobulated for a moment. Who? Then it thinks a little bit more. Then it sprays out a blast of pheromones, and you smell the sharp tang of acid and weakened stone. It smells like distrust. Belay. Fish head grub. Not good person. It leans closer. Wants eggs. Can smell desire. Well, they're right about that. But eggs in the safe place. Hidden. Not let thieves take eggs. Harm broodmates. You smell hardened shells, calcium, and silicone baking around the stitches. The scent of determination and safety. Not to let anyone harm eggs without fight. I mean, fair. Um. So, is our character... Does this imply that our character is capable of generating some of these same odors? I think so. Or are they... I can't think of a, a verbal language metaphor. It would be like talking on the phone. 
Oh, and then you don't have the visual component? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh, let's stop here. Or just texting. That... Texting only with no emojis. Y yep. Yeah. Okay.